so i just got back from a haircut um i like the cut i did get like a full mullet this time but i did want it to be like slightly longer so that's my only thing but my hair grows really fast so it'll probably be at the length that i wanted in like two to four weeks but yeah just got a haircut and i wanted to show you guys these little tiny vases from Amazon. Um, I've been slowly collecting decor for my room makeover and I found these little vases on Amazon. There's this like peach one, this green one, this blue one, and this like purpley pink one. So yeah, these are very cute. I'm going for like a pastel grandma. Pastel, yet there's going to be like some earthiness. And there's gonna be like grandma elements. And I found these little um, little tiny vases on Amazon, which were really cute. I can link it down below if you guys are interested. It's not an affiliate link, it's not sponsored. I just found these and they're very adorable. Hall. In the school halls, 
So I have another tattoo. Uh, this is a Loteria card, which is a game that we play in Mexico. Um, and I've always wanted a moon tattoo. So here it is, my culture plus the moon. Uh, but yeah, this was done by Belly Tatty on Instagram. I'll have it on the screen and it looks super nice. It's like on the inside of my arm. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys that and my room is still a mess. Let me show you guys. So <laughs> this is what it's looking like still. I still have three plastic bins in this little basket with stuff that I need to put away. I still haven't taken these down um, just cause it's really gonna be a hassle. And then here I have decorations and a trash can that I've accumulated just to see, you know, what I can use. And then I've been packing orders as you guys have seen. So this is like all my packing stuff. And of course my desk is still a mess, like just holding my plants and like some decorations and stuff. But yeah, still a mess. Hopefully gonna finish the dresser today or tomorrow and put it here and finally organize everything properly. So yeah, this here is my dresser. Um, I don't have the handles on it yet because the stuff that I used to patch up the holes was still drying, but I will be putting in the handles very soon, probably today, later. Um, but yeah, that is what she looks like. This isn't how I'm going to decorate it. I just was just like putting stuff down because my decorations have just been sitting on the ground. But yeah. He is not perfect, obviously, because I did it myself, but I'm pretty proud. I patched up all the holes and stuff, painted it myself, painted the inside of the drawers white. But yeah, now I have to organize this whole mess. Um, yeah, so gonna be doing that.
So I wanted to show you guys exactly how I pack orders. I have two different types of envelopes. Uh, I have like flat mailers and then I have um, paper padded mailers. These don't have any plastic in them. I am trying to reduce plastic in my packaging. So yeah, I do have different sizes of these, but these are the ones that I use the most. So here I have an order and you guys ask me why I put them in Ziploc bags. So basically what I do first is I get the shipping label and I look to see what items they got and I put it in a Ziploc bag and that's like the first stage. I do that with all the orders. I get their, the stuff that they ordered, put it in a bag with their shipping label and their packing slip. And so I get through that and then I go through and I package them like with their tissue paper and everything and their thank you card. Do that and then I can put them in envelopes and tape everything down. It just makes it easier for me and um, because I have such limited workspace, it, keep, it helps me keep everything organized so I don't mix up orders or it reduces the amount of incorrect orders or missing items from orders. So yeah, because this is all flat stuff, I'm going to put it in a flat mailer, put in the thank you card, I put the packing slip in here as well, seal this down. I always like to tape down the envelope flap because sometimes it will tend to lift and I just want to make sure it's extra secured. I'm going to put the shipping label on now. And then on the back of the envelope, I choose one of my stamps, put it in the ink, and stamp the envelope and then it is ready to ship out.